what is going on guys this is going to be a quick video showing you how I install my mods I know a few of you requested me to show you how I did it um it's an easy way to do it I guess you'd say easier than the old way you used to do it like when you had to open your jar file drag the files in and then if you wanted to remove the mod you had to delete your jar that was just annoying and there's quite an easy way to do it now which I'm going to show you but before we get started I recommend the first thing you do is delete your bin folder so we don't run into any problems later on so if you've installed any mods in the past if we delete our bin folder then we're good to go so let me show you how you do that first now first thing you need to do is go to your start menu and in this little search bar here you want to do percent app data percent and then just press enter and now this folder here will come up, it's called Roaming or something like that. And at the top you should have a .minecraft folder and that's where Minecraft's installed on your computer. So you want to double click on that and then there's a folder in there called bin. Now this is the folder I recommend that you delete because when you delete this folder and then restart Minecraft it will start downloading fresh files. And it's always good to start with fresh files when you're going to install new mods and stuff like that. But just so we don't run into any problems. So I'm going to delete this so just press delete like that. And then close, um, minimize this actually because we might need to come back to this later. So just minimize that for now. And then open up Minecraft. And then you'll see that when, once I log in, it will start downloading stuff. There we go. It's downloading packages. Now, this is downloading a fresh bin folder. So not modified, nice and new. And it'll be easy for us to install mods after. Now, my internet's slow. So I'm going to cut back to you guys when this is finished downloading. So once you've done that and that's finished downloading and we've got our fresh bin folder, um, we don't need to do anything else now. We just need to close Minecraft. We're not going to use that again now. So just click the X and close it. Now the next thing we're going to do, we're going to get the program which helps us install mods easier. And now that program is called Magic Launcher. Now some of you may know what this is already. Some of you may already use it. But this is a program that basically helps you install mods just by like one click and you can turn them off by one click it's really amazing like I think it's one of the best things that's come out in Minecraft in a long time but all the links that I'm going to use for this video will be in the description so if you want to download Magic Launcher and you don't know where to get it from just make sure you look in the description and there will be a link to this thread here where you can download it and then you go to like this section here Windows Mac or Linux pick whatever one you're using and then just download it I would recommend downloading it onto your desktop or something like that and it just makes it really easy and then once you've downloaded it, you'll get this icon here. It's called Magic Launcher 1.0. Um, it will be exactly the same as the Minecraft icon, which is there for me. But the reason I'm showing you both of these icons, guys, is because this normal Minecraft icon, we're never going to use this anymore. I never click on this to play Minecraft. Every time I play Minecraft, I always click on the Magic Launcher icon. That's because if I don't click on it, then my mods won't load up. So if you want your mods to load up and work you always have to click on magic launcher whenever you play minecraft i think it's better than the normal minecraft launcher so i don't mind clicking on it all the time but once you've downloaded it just put it on your desktop and leave it there we're not going to open it yet now the next thing i recommend to do is to go and download all the mods that you want to install and put them in a folder so you remember where they are now i've done that already and i've put it into like a folder here called mods and these are the mods i want to install but i'm not going to install all of them now on video just because it just take too long to install all of them so i'm just going to install a few and show you the main concept because you basically do the same for each mod now all the mods that i'm going to install eventually this is like twitch tv mod too many items timber mod single player commands optifine minecraft forge only because some of the other mods need minecraft forge to work so I'll try and explain it to you as I go along. Dynamic lights, run mini, mini map, inventory tweaks, and there you go. That's where I save my magic launcher. So go and download all the mods you want. I will put a link in the description for all these mods that I'm going to use. Um, I just wanted to show you something quickly about Minecraft Forge. The link will be in the description for Minecraft for for I <laughs> can't speak. Link will be in the description for the Minecraft Forge page. Um, I wanted to show you this because when I went to download Minecraft Forge, I was a bit confused because there's so many links here where to click and I didn't know where to click. But the one you want to download is here, it's recommended, and then you want to click on this one at the end here called Universal. And then Optifine will be in the description because that's the mod I'm going to show you um, to install and Rise Minimap. They're the three mods that I'm going to install right now. So once you've downloaded all your mods, you want to open up Magic Launcher. And then you'll be brought with this screen. Magic Launcher is pretty cool. You've got like news, you've got Reddit, you've got Notch's Twitter, Jeb's Twitter, Dinnerbones Twitter, uh, Word of Notch, just Fitness Notch's blog, Minecraft forums, and Wiki. I never really looked for them, but they really cool idea to have them on there. But you don't want to log in yet. You want to go to Setup. And when you click Setup, it will take you this to this screen. And this screen is where you add all your mods. Now, 
what we need to do is click add and once we click add we need to go and find the folder that we downloaded our mods into now I'm going to go and find it now where is it so once you've found your folder and found where you've installed all the mods basically all we need to do now is just double click on the mod that we want to install so first I'm going to do Minecraft Forge and as you can see Minecraft Forge goes into the list there it says one error but Minecraft Forge always says this and for some reason it still works so don't worry about that and then basically that's installed so I want to add another mod now and it should take me back to that same folder and then I'm going to add Optifine and there you go Optifine's installed and it just says OK and now I'm going to add another mod I'm going to add Rise Minimap there we go it's installed now it says OK and let me add one more like too many items that's what I'm going to do for now just for the sake of the video so it's not too long so they're all installed there what you can do now you can test Minecraft so I can click test right here and as you can see it's, it's like installing a uh, forge mod loader so you're going to need to let that run let that finish so once that's all finished downloading and stuff it should just launch Minecraft normally and if it has you should get a screen that looks similar to this it's telling me like I've got five mods installed I've got Optifine installed Minecraft Forge installed and stuff like that so that test has worked I won't be able to log into multiplayer because it's only a test and I don't have any servers on there yet but if I go to single player create a new world let's just do this quickly and there we go let's see if my mods have worked so if I press escape and go options video settings I've got all my Optifine settings there I installed too many items as well so let's go to my inventory there you go you can see too many items and which other one did I install I can't remember now oh rise minimap is there in the top right hand corner so as you can see my mods have worked and that was so easy all I had to do is just add them to my list in magic launcher and if I want to turn them off now so let me just go out of this save and quit game if I want to turn them off I go back to magic launcher here and I just uncheck and then none of their mods will be on but if I want them um, back on I just check them back in the list but make sure once you finish doing all this you have to click OK there so it saves all the options and then you can just log into Minecraft as normal and that is your mods installed so you can just turn them off just by a click of a button it's really that simple magic launcher is that awesome so I hope that helps you guys um, how to install mods. You don't have to open up your jar anymore and drag the files in. This magic launcher just does it all for you. So yeah, I hope that was helpful guys and I will see you again in another video.